talking about James Bowen the other day on the programme. Mitch Bastian is the other young man, and he rides number one, Klein, here. Both of them are actually riding today at Haydock for the very first time. And Klein is the market leader. Mitch Bastian claiming five, heading them up. Two is value at risk, Harry Skelton. Three, El Terremoto for Daryl Jacob. Four is Vernie Richard Johnson. Five, Chitty Balco for Will Kennedy. And six, Diamond Fort looking to complete the hat trick. Paddy Brennan is aboard. Seven is limited reserve. He is the mount of James Bowen claiming five. Eight, intense tango, Tom Scudamore. A nine, man of plenty, Brian Hughes. So two young men towards the head of the market here. James Bowen, limited reserve. And Mitch Bastian on Klein. So far, the leading two conditionals this national hunt season. So let's check out this winner, El Terremoto, the favourite Klein at nine to four. All yours, Richard. Thanks, Ed. The runners set away then for this two mile three furlong Betfair Exchange handicap hurdle, one flight of hurdles in the back straight, and Klein, the pale blue on the outside of Intense Tango, are the first two to show as they head towards obstacle number one with Chitty Balco racing in third and now drawing alongside. So we're going to have a trio of leaders as they take flight number one. Over in fourth place was Limited Reserve, El Terremoto and Value at Risk charting wider courses. Big White Face, the blue and yellow colours on the running rail, belongs to Diamond Fort. And the last two, uh, Verney, and last of all in the white cheek pieces, Man of Plenty. So out in front is Chitty Balco, who moved to the lead after taking the first and leads by just over a length or so from Klein in second. Intense Tango, who disputed the lead early. She is now just restrained two lengths behind the leaders as they make the turn up the home straight for the first time. Racing in fourth place is Limited Reserve on the inside of El Terremoto. On the inner of them both is Diamond Fort. And then Verney, the last two, value at risk. And last of all, Man of Plenty. Chitty Balco steps over flight number two, which they all take perfectly OK. Pace in the conditions is a reasonable one, being forced by Will Kennedy on Chitty Balco, who leads towards the middle of the trio of flights of hurdles up the home straight on this first circuit. Chitty Balco flicks through the top. Again, the whole field take it perfectly OK. And now they run down towards the flight, and the circuit's time will be the last. There's quite a long run in this afternoon, and about 300 yards on the hurdle course. And Chitty Balco comes to take that flight and jumps it really well. Clyde in second place, still a couple of lengths clear of the main body of the field, who are headed by Intense Tango, who shows in third. A line of three in behind, El Terremoto in the two-tone green. The colours Daryl Jacob will be sporting on Bristol de May later on. And then in the middle of that trio is Limited Reserve, and on the inside, Diamond Fort. And the last three as they pass the stands, Verney on the inside of Value at Risk. And last of all is Man of Plenty. So Chitty Valco extending the advantage as they head out on their final circuit. And given the conditions, this is quite an aggressive ride by Will Kennedy. Leads by a good eight lengths or so. And Klein, in turn, is a further four lengths ahead of Intense Tango. And he's setting off in pursuit of the leader, Mitch Bastian. A definite move to close down the front horse there. They've now pulled six lengths clear of the third placed Intense Tango. Then El Terremoto, raced on the outside of Limited Reserve and Diamond Fort. Back three remain, value at risk in company with Verney. A man of plenty. So Chitty Balco flies that first down the back. Klein continues ahead of the others. A slight peck by Diamond Fort towards the inside as Klein is encouraged along as Chitty Balco continues to go towards the middle one down the back. And he's asked up and he didn't see a stride there. So he clatters through it. Klein made a bad mistake. Klein really was down on his nose there. Didn't see a stride at all. And he's swamped by a field that are now being towed up by the strong travelling limited reserve. Intense tango. Klein trying to get bad amongst those forest of leaders. The other one that's made considerable progress is Verney, who was out to the back early in the courted colours of yellow and blue. And they are now beginning to close down the leader, who has four to take. Chitty Balco flicks over that. Limited reserve and Verney have both travelled into the race strongly. Now back in fourth place. Klein, after that error, is on the back foot. Diamond Fort comes next. Man of Plenty is making places, Value at Risk is toiling, Intense Tango's dropped back, Diamond Fort's dropped back as well, and still Chitty Balco keeps up the gallop for the time being. The gap is about five lengths to Verney in second, Limited Reserve in third, Klein sticking to the task in fourth as El Terremoto swings around the outside, a Man of Plenty between those two off this postage weight for Brian Hughes has moved through into fourth place as they head down towards the third last, Chitty Balco still leading, only a couple of lengths is the gap to 
Bernie, limited reserve and man of plenty. El Terremoto, last year's winner in fifth. Klein is now back in sixth and struggling as Chitty Balco didn't take that too well, neither did Verney, and that really swings the balance in favour of limited reserve, who's coming there strongly, but behind him, man of plenty is still travelling well as well. Two from the finish, limited reserve's hand just about forced as he jumps alongside Chitty Balco, travelling comfortably. Can't sit too long, however, because man of plenty on the outside is also trying to throw down a challenge. Chutty Balco has given his all, and it's limited reserve for James Bowen, who heads down towards the final obstacle. James Bowen over in front on limited reserve. In second place, man of plenty for Brian Hughes. This long run-in of 300 yards, but limited reserve at the moment has plenty of reserves, and it's three lengths back to man of plenty, who's run a gallant race. Klein, to his credit, is sticking on, and Maybag a remote third, but ridden out towards the line. Limited reserve. Big day again for James Bowen on his first day riding at Haydock Park, and a big winner as well for trainer Christian Williams. Man of plenty in second, Klein is third, Chutty Balco's finished, Verney's finished, El Terremoto has, but they are the only six. First day at Haydock Park for James Bowen, his first winner since having his claim reduced to five pounds. Limited reserve has won at nine to two for Christian Williams, a jockey hero, Denman to success, Nolan to success, and Neptune Collange, only his fifth career winner as a trainer, a big one for them both. Another smiling James Bowen on an ITV Saturday.